Hawaii volcano update. Is Kilauea volcano going to erupt again? Latest USGS alerts. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano has already destroyed about 600 homes since its most destructive eruption May 3rd, over a month ago. But is it about to erupt again? Well, here are the latest USGS alerts and warnings. Cat Hops Express UK reports. Based on USGS warnings, Kilauea's current level of devastation has surpassed its previous worst tally when it wiped out 215 structures in the eruption starting in 1983. These recent volcanic blasts are now the United States' worst since the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens in Washington State. This is according to the volcano specialist Scott Rowland. Hawaii Governor David Ige passed $12 million of funding on Thursday to support Big Island, where spreading lava flows are causing mounting costs. The burgeoning river of scalding lava swallowed the entire development of vacation land. No residences there are remaining. There's only a few in uh, Kapoha. The Big Island Mayor Harry Kim confirmed yesterday around 160 homes were lost along with 330 at Kapoho Beach lots. This follows earlier losses at Leilani Estates those were the first hit during the eruption. All three are situated in the island's southeast tip. Mayor Kim said, so if you combine the three of them, Kapoho, Vacation Land, and Leilani, we're talking about 600 homes. I'm talking about 600 families. And don't forget the farmers, don't forget the ranchers, don't forget all the employees for them. Now, is Kilauea Volcano going to erupt again? Latest USGS alerts. Kilauea eruption again a few hours ago erupted with a small explosion at 2.44 a.m. local time. That's 3.44 p.m. BST. That's what the, the United States Geological Survey said, USGS. USGS said in its latest status update, quote, no weather radar observation of plume heights are possible but satellite data suggests that any plume that might have been generated did not exceed over 10,000 feet above sea level. Since the small explosion, seismic activity in the summit region has been low. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halema'uma'u continue in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. USGS has set up a live stream of the summit with currently, which currently shows steaming ash clouds and gases rising above Halemaumau crater. Kilauea remains on red alert. That means an eruption is imminent or is already underway. Scientists warn the active volcano is likely to become more explosive, more violent as its lava lake lowers, causing steam driven blasts. So yes, they say it will become more violent. Now, what are the other threats posed by Kilauea? Other threats include Fissure 8 in the Lower East Rift Zone. It's fountaining to heights of over 220 feet and channeling into the Pacific Ocean. And if you look at the videos of the lava flows, it's as if it's just boiling water. It's really runny and it runs, and it runs fast. Uh, as the lava reacts with the seawater, has been producing lays, which is a toxic blend of hydrochloric acid and tiny glass particles, which are, of course, dangerous to health. It, if it, it goes into your eyes, your skin, especially your lungs, your lungs can have irreparable lung damage. Seaside dwellings are being, dwellers are being urged to avoid exposure to this floating lays cloud as it can cause eye irritation and respiratory problems if it's ingested. Volcanic ash is also a concern because it carries life-threatening sulfur dioxide, which is another toxic gas and a problem for respiratory um, uh, damage. Now, um, in the meantime, uh, you'll see, we'll see that something very strange has happened to the weather over Kilauea. 
It's summer, as we know. We're already, uh, uh, tomorrow is June 10th. Uh, in 10 days, we'll be in the middle of summer, the beginning of summer. And uh, because of the volcanic eruption of Kilauea, they're having winter weather. And that's in the upcoming video I'll have for you um, to explain what's going on. This is on Express UK. I'll leave a link below for you for this. Thank you. 